you've settled in nicely. It's just luck. And skill. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... So, how can I be of service this time? Someone's trying to be a guard. Poorly. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help, and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? What can I do that you can't? I would never say as much, but... Well, he keeps asking for you. Maybe just showing up will calm him down. He's in the gallows. If it leads somewhere real, I'll take it off your plate. Anything to shut him up. You, Varric, have a very large mouth. And here I've always looked up to you. What is it now? There were fistfights in the barracks over who was the model for your guard serial. Hard in High Town. Riveting stuff. Everyone loves a dirty guard on the edge. Varric. Fine. I'll start his big finish. Three chapters until Don and Brenikovic retires and opens a tavern on the coast. I sure hope he makes it. He's getting too old for this shit. Hello, Emmerich. The guard captain says you're still chasing disappearing acts. That's not funny. I need your help urgently. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuis. Dupuis? That's a funny name. It's Olesian. I believe he is descended from nobility. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing. And I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard? Well, they rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. Fine, if you insist. I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I'm sorry, Emmerich, but that's the truth of it. What have you learned about Gascard Dupuis? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. It cannot be a coincidence? It sounds exactly like a coincidence. Gascard Dupuis is hiding something. I'm convinced of it. And I'm supposed to be the outside help. My hands are tied. I can't do this on my own. What if one of the women who died was someone you loved? If Gascard Dupuis is guilty, he must be stopped before he kills again. Then we will investigate Dupuis, if only to put this to rest. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. At least I'll know for sure. I'm not making any promises. I'll take whatever help I can get. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis' estate after nightfall. 
please figure out what Dupuy is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. Help me! Please! He's gone mad! You're not... You're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. Do you take me for a fool? No, I, I didn't mean... I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. If I hear anything I don't like, you're dead. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Uh, yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Yes, can't you? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Selfish little shit. How many of you risked by keeping this to yourself? Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. You really did make yourself a target, though. Kidnapping people and all. I suppose that's fair. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. Time for you to vanish. Every man for himself. I'm headed to Darktown. If you learn anything new about the killer, find me there. I have a score to settle with him. You are very close to losing your printing blocks, Varric. Once more, I am falsely accused of whatever it is I am accused of. Falsely. Someone swapped the text of my recruitment poster with some filth from the Blooming Rose. Ooh, that does sound pretty good. Sure. Fill the barracks with whores. But you've also filled the Rose with guards. It is true what they say. The best comedy comes from tragedy. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Did I tell him that? I must have completely forgotten. Don't you remember sending this message? I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. That's not a good sign. here to kill him. Why would anyone... Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gaspard Dupuis. Did he do this? I can't be certain of anything. 
Gaskard may have tricked me. Then we need to find him. Do you know where he is? He said he was going to Darktown. Darktown's a big place, but we'll find him. He's an apostate, and Meredith will want him hunted down. I will speak to the city guard about this. Gaskard Dupuy will not escape. My men will cooperate however they can. Tell them I command it. Thank you, Captain. Enchantment? No, not enchantment. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. Shouting won't make him understand you better, you know. There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm tempted to say she isn't. Just to see your reaction. Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Camlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Deandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. It doesn't hurt to be optimistic. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. I did. What of it? Blue dress, grey hair. Her cloak was brown, I think. She holds it closed with a round brooch. Silver with... with garnets. I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. <gasps> That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. Ugh. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow him. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. Never thought I'd say this, but Gamlin's right. My men can look for Leandra while we check the blood. Any lead helps. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another! More blood. I'm on the right path. Where is he taking her? There. I hope I'm not too late. There. The foundry. They must have gone inside. You've been here before, haven't you? This is where you found the human remains all those years ago. We should have known there was something else here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. Looks like someone forgot to conceal the door to his hideout. This wasn't here before. Mother must be down there. With him.
Mother! <sighs> Alessa! Mother's locket. Oh, this isn't a good sign. in the portrait looks like Leandra, doesn't she? A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now. Books on necromancy. The Templars will want to confiscate those. What a surprise. Why would he have these? What's he planning? I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Mother always knew me best. Yeah. And she spoke so fondly of you. What a lovely, gentle woman. You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. Spare me the demented rambling. Where is she? She's here. She's waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us.
There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. Don't move, Mother. We'll find a way to... Shh. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I'll be with Carver and Bethany and your father. But you'll be all alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I let Bethany down. I promised her I'd look after Mother. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key! Magic didn't kill Mother. A madman did. He could have just as easily killed her with a knife. You said she was used! This goes beyond just murder. It... It's desecration. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. I should talk to the city guard, make arrangements to retrieve Leandra... Leandra's body. Take care, my dear. I know nothing I say will change it. I'm just... I'm sorry. You were lucky to have her as long as you did. When the pain fades, that's what will matter. I appreciate it, Anders. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. <laughs>